The Valves Bay municipality says 153 shacks had burned down in the massive fire at Otoya on Sunday. There were 87 others that were not affected. The municipality has availed land already where 215 plots are being prepared to accommodate all households in Otoya by mid-August. The NHE handed over two big plots where tents have been set up to temporarily accommodate the fire victims while another part of this land is being prepared for each family to receive a plot. The town's chief executive officer, Moronga Haingura, revealed at the Governor's Weekly COVID-19 media briefing that all 153 households will receive plots no less than 300 square meters while proper housing units have been designed for the residents. But after due consideration, we realized, especially after we had the disaster on Sunday, that the current materials in use are prone to fires. And this is why we went a step further than to come up with uh, units that will be uh, more open upper standard. We will definitely discourage the congestion of sharks. In simple terms, we do not want mushrooming of sharks anymore. Otherwise, we'll have a repetition of what we experienced on Sunday. Moronga has appealed to the public and private sector to give material and monetary assistance so that the units are constructed. We have already started preparing Farm 37, which is a bit out of Wolfers Bay, to address the issue of congestion. congestion. And we are concurrently also doing the same, like what we're doing on the NHE portions, to prepare ourselves to address the total congestion area in Wolfers Bay. And we're also targeting about the same period to have the first group being relocated to Farm 37 by mid-August. The decongestion program aims at reducing the number of people per residential urban to curb high COVID-19 infections and further provide suitable land and housing for the people.